Another one was I was a liberty activist. Um, I started off with Aaron Russo, the guy who did the movie Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Now this is a really good video for you celebrity worship people because I've already mentioned Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, John Travolta, and Aaron Russo. Aaron was a really cool guy. He did a movie called America Freedom to Fascism, which was all about the Federal Reserve and the IRS code and how they violate the Constitution and the nasty things that the IRS does to innocent people. Of course, we're all innocent. Uh, anyway, but some more innocent than others. <laughs> anyway, um, so I started off with him, and uh, when I was working with him, he was high profile. Nobody knew who I was, so I was an easy target. I was his volunteer coordinator in Los Angeles. When I had my bank account statement arrive in the mail, ripped open, and got run off the road, and woke up in the morning and found my car windows smashed in, and papers shuffled around, some on the ground, um, but nothing taken, as if there was anything to take, then I decided it was time to go a little bit lower on the radar, but I kept doing the liberty activism thing for about four more years. Then I was in Austin, Texas, and there's a radio DJ there by the name of Alex Jones, who was like a big guru for the liberty activist crowd. He talks like this, he said, I told you! The New World Order. Anyway, <coughs> that hurts. Um, anyway, he was invited to come to a rally that we had against uh, the police department of Austin that we had permits for and everything to do right at the headquarters of the police, and it had to do with gun rights. And he said he didn't want to come, and then he showed up all pasty faced with makeup, big black suit on, big guy, sharp black suit, really, you know, dressed like, you know, to somebody's funeral or something. <laughs> um, with his megaphone, me mega me megaphone, and his, his, uh, anyway, he was the bull and we were the china shop. He was definitely the bull, but he just destroyed our presentation so that nobody could even hear us over our megaphones and I was heading up a group at the time called we are change the Austin branch and I put up a video of what happened I wasn't so much of a fan of Alex Jones already I was starting to see that he didn't provide any solutions he just scared people a lot and uh, so I put that up on his on on on, uh, on on YouTube with the title "Alex Jones Exposes Alex Jones," and I loved Austin, but it became very unsafe. He had a lot of people, that, a couple hundred people that showed up at that rally just from the Austin area who heard that he was going to be there, even though we had been told that he wasn't going to be there. All these so-called activists that we had never seen when we were doing a rally on one subject or another every week. And this was another crucifixion because I was publicly skewered by thousands tens of thousands of people who didn't like what I put up on YouTube. And I'm like, but what he did was not right. He, he destroyed our rally. We invited him and then he said he wasn't coming and he came and he destroyed our rally. And they were like, he can do that. He's Alex Jones. And I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. If we can't hold our own leaders accountable, then who or what are we really? as opposed to what we're pretending to be.